Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Monday, March 23rd, 2015. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I'm your Monday Vlogger B. Now, this week's topic, we're talking about self-sabotage. This is an interesting subject. I'll read this to you, and then I'll give you some of my thoughts on it. It says, self-sabotage. What does that mean to you on this WLS journey? Have you done it? When? Why? Have you found a way to stop doing it? How? Well, I guess everybody has a little bit of a different opinion as to what we mean when we talk about sabotage and sabotaging our own journeys. Um, for me, I think what tends to happen with people, and, and you know, myself included, is we kind of get a little complacent in the things that we do from day to day. And, and this can be anything from our fitness to you know the, our food habits to our cheat days if we allow those to ourselves to maybe, I don't know, supplements that we may take or, or, or treats we might give ourselves. And what tends to happen is we, we take a negative step, whether it be something temporary for the day or for a meal or for a portion of the day. And then we tend to tell ourselves that that's okay. It's okay if I have an ice cream cone every Tuesday. Well, and then it's okay if I have an ice cream cone every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday. You know, it, it kind of builds and builds and builds because we've convinced ourselves that this action is okay. And then it turns into a series of actions. And then that builds upon itself and it puts us in a position where we're not getting things done. And then we see our weight loss stop or even weight gain start to occur. Uh, it starts to become habit forming and now we've got bad habits. And then we get into this cycle of of one negative action building on another on another on another and now we're on this downward spiral and you turn around and you look at you like wow look at me what what the hell have I done um, I think for me personally um, I've been there and and I wouldn't say it's a so serious as 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 to say that I was to the point where <clears throat> where it was something that I would consider extremely harmful. Um, you know, I, I've, I've slipped a little, I've fallen a little, and, you know, it's just one of those things where, with me, personally, uh, I go through these evaluation periods, and, and they're really dependent on how I'm feeling at that week or that month or that period of time as to how often they occur, but... Um, you know, I, I try to put myself through these checks and balances on the regular to, mm -hmm. to see if, to see how I'm, I'm doing, how my journey's progressing. Um, <clears throat> and I think that those self-evaluation periods have really helped me stay out of those serious conditions where I'm, uh, I, I'm in that downward spiral, um, that would, that we would call, that I would call sabotaging my journey. Um, I think, and like I said, I think that the, the most important thing when you come to this realization, and this is something where, where, um, something where a partnership, I'm trying to think of the word here, where, uh, where accountability comes into play, where record keeping comes into play, where documenting your journey comes into play. Because it really helps you focus on you and where you are and where you're going yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Um, I think that if we look at our journeys in snapshots like that, not, not snapshots as in the day, but periods of time, um, and evaluate where we started, where we finished, and compare that to the last period of time, I think we can prevent things like this from occurring. Um, and I think that's that's really important that we evaluate this regularly and we discuss it between ourselves and, and, and other people that know what we're going through. That support and that accountability is critical, and I think that that's why. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, I think that's about all I have on that subject anyway. Hope you guys got something out of this. I know it's kind of short this week, but uh, that's, that's, that's what I got. Uh, so guys, make sure you thumbs up, don't thumbs down, subscribe, tell your friends, and come back to see us tomorrow for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works video, and of course, come back and see me on Monday for another Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works vlog. Have a wonderful week, guys, and take care.